What's up guys? Sorry that there was no People's Choice video yesterday. I was feeling a little bit under the weather. People's Choice will be right back next and every Tuesday. But I have another 2020 movie review for you guys in the meantime. By the by, I'm Valentin Eubank, the movie guy, and this is my review for Underwater. Nora works underwater for a deep sea drilling company. The facility starts having pressure breaches pretty early on in the movie. She has to escape along with Rodrigo, a worker from the day shift. They also meet up with Paul, the joker of the crew, with their captain, Lucien, a Frenchman more concerned with saving others than seeing his child once more, and a couple, Smith and Emily. However, they are not alone underwater. Will they escape? Let's start with the negatives. This movie is apparently a horror film. I tell you guys, there is nothing scary about it. It has some lazy attempts at some jump scares, none of them scary. There is some tension in the movie, I guess, but there isn't enough. I wasn't on the edge of my seat hoping for these guys to get to safety. There is little to no character development. You rarely find something about a character, which makes deaths feel unimportant. Because you don't know anything about them, so they're basically just someone that dies. There is a scene where a character sacrifices himself to save Nora. I couldn't tell you why he did that because they didn't even know each other prior to this. It just made no sense. The directing is kind of bad. There were a couple of scenes where I barely understood what was going on. Take for example the pressure breach scene. One scene I see Nora running, then I see her fall, then I see her running again. The shaky cam was just too much. That's not how you build suspense. Another directing problem that I had was the narration at the beginning. I was thinking, ugh, another movie that uses narration, but it is used just for that one scene so we can get to like Nora a bit. A more powerful scene would have been her chatting with a character that they go out of their way to make relatable and cool, and then just kill him when the breach happens. That way, you announce that nobody is safe because the cool guy just died, and you get some information about Nora. This entire crew is basically one big cliché. There is the captain that comes up with an impossible plan or one that has at least a 10% success rate. There is the protagonist who will follow the plan to a T. There is the joker who will constantly make fun of everything that is happening and ask questions so that the much smarter crew can answer. And of course, the cannon fathers. The suits that they use to go underwater with look amazing. I don't know if you guys know how the Space Marine suits look, I'm gonna pull a picture up for you guys. They look really similar to me and I love them. If this movie had real action, the suits would have looked amazing in combat. Alright, let me drop some knowledge on you guys here. The suits that they used to go underwater with weighed 63 kilograms or 140 pounds and they couldn't hear anything through them. In the opening scene when Nora runs, the director wanted her to be barefoot and Kristen had no problem to do that but there were concerns that she would hurt herself so they made pink footwear. And the third and last fact is that Kristen Stewart shaved her head for this role. I love the dedication. The cast is actually pretty good. TJ Miller and Vincent Castle are doing their usual. They're not bad but they're not amazing. If you've seen a movie with them, you know what to expect. I like Kristen Stewart in this one. I think that she is a good actress, but she has difficulty in finding the perfect roles for her. After that Twilight fiasco, Robert Pattinson found the right path, whereas she just worked what roles she could, and it shows. I mean, her last five movies don't have a rating higher than six on IMDb. That's pretty bad. Lately, this section has been more least favorite scenes than favorite scenes and that tradition continues today. There is a scene that made me laugh because it introduced a character that wasn't there before. So they were preparing to go underwater and this girl was having a panic attack and there is this guy confronting her telling her stuff like, what is the scariest part of a roller coaster? The weight. And she was like, oh ho, oh, that's so funny. After that joke, I'm comfortable to face this fear. And I thought that the character was Paul, but it wasn't. It was some guy that I haven't seen before in the movie and I had no idea who he was and how he got there. Oh boy, this was bad. There was no character development, limited action. It was pretty bad. I guess that only the production and the performances saved this movie cause otherwise it would have been awful. Now it's just poor. 
If the premise of this movie intrigues you, but you don't want to punish yourself with a bad movie, watch Life. It's another set of scientists who have to face an unknown enemy. So, my rating for Underwater is one and a half stars.